Oh, hello, you beautiful monstrosity. I love you so much. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Okay, yo, what is up, you guys? You're gonna be like, what is this guy's scenario? Why is he constantly so random nowadays? He's never in his setup. Well, I'm back in my home city, I'm visiting. Uh, I'm in a transitionary period here. Uh, we'll see what the next move is. I could be here for a little bit, we're not sure yet. Um, Toronto may be a thing of the past. Anyways, I'm chilling, it's a beautiful afternoon. As you may see, bluebird up in the sky. So anyways, I'm here, I have a little bit of time to myself and I figured, I'm starving, it's nice. What's in the fridge? It's one of these what's in the fridge situation series. I got some random things together and here it is. It looks ridiculously crazy. Whatever it all is, we don't even know. But we'll show you, we'll unveil, Let's get to prepping it, and we're gonna cook it up on a BBQ. Okay, really, actually, first things first, gotta get the cover off this grill, get the grill fired up. Let's do that. Come on, man. Work with me here. Come on, BBQ boy. Hey. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Okay, we need to. clicker on. I hope that means we're good. <laughs> Starting barbecues is not my forte, but I probably gotta turn the gas line on at some point. Under here is where I thought it would be, but apparently I'm not man enough to know. But whoa, hey, there's that switch. I got you figured out, you little bitch, and I can hear you running a propane. Gonna cook on you on these old stains, so I need to clean that grill. This brush would kill you if I wanted to. I'm gonna put things on to you. Hey, hey, hey. So that, guys, is a... Um, a barbecue song that you make up while you're trying to start the barbecue. I do believe that we are fired up. Oh, we're fired up. Okay. So, we're going to let that guy get hot. We don't need it to be too smoking for what we're going to do. We're going to keep it on a low, 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 low. Keep it on a low, 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 low. Lo 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 Okay. Boom, let that guy crank up. And then we come over here, we have the exterior prep station. We're gonna try to keep it as clean and clear and under control as possible. But really, how's that angle? Low and slow is the name of the game, they say. Okay, we ready. Even though we don't really need to cut much. Um, first things first. Last night we made dinner. We got a baguette. Or fresh French boulangignoro or whatever that's called. I don't know. Either, either way. I'm just going to take this little, this little tip off. And I'm going to go slice her down. The center fusion. Let's get her lined up. And down the center we go. God, you guys, it's nice out. So beauty. It was actually kind of raining earlier. But now it's blue birds and white pillows just floating through nature's delicious gods, guys. So, okay, we got that halved. I'm gonna. Probably make these maybe open face, or I might close it, but I might just do open face like little logs. Um, okay. I got a piece of chicken from last night too. So we take that and we just deal with it accordingly. 
Just some nice slices. This is one of those meals, and it's going to be absolutely banging. But it's going to be absolutely simple. Need some cheese that I want. Let's make some nice little. Cheese strips. Try to be nice and thin and wide. That's how I like it. Thin and wide. I don't know how you like it. I, hope, I feel like this this is gonna be such shaky footage because the camera just keeps going. That should be enough probably. For our purposes and you know what just while I'm here chef's privileges a snack okay done and done I got this other cheese it's like pepper jack it's just pre-cut so we don't need to get too intense about it we get a two slices. That's a two slices. So just like a nice little pepper jack, as you can see. Do not put the paper in the sandwich. Nobody likes paper in their sandwiches. And then, call me crazy, don't know why I'm doing it, but it's just one of those days, it's like, okay, what's in the fridge? Let's go a little bit buck wild with it. I'm gonna put some Hungarian style salami, but not just straight up in a in an alternate fashion, but we'll get there, you'll see. Oh my god, packages. Oh my god, packages. Okay, so, let's get, probably gonna need a good six or so slices. Once again, chef snack, but bang, there we go. It's a whole salami vibe. Put up your garbage. Always organize your things. Okay, next step is we gotta do some grilling, toasting, heating. But we're uh, we're not even that far away from beating. So all these fucking sna chef snacks. Let's go over to the grill. So I got some pineapple, and what we're gonna do with that is and with everything for that matter, is let's use this guy, the grate. The grate works great. Let's just get some flavor on this. Let's grill up some pineapple. Don't need much. It's gonna make a nice little uh, chopped, grilled, almost like, I don't know if it's a chutney really, but I'm thinking chicken, Fatty, small, you know, sweet, da 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 da. It'd be a nice little accent on there. So we do that. Put that in. Stay with me here. Be right back. Oh. Let's bring all the homies over. And so, what I want to do actually is just get some more heat back on the chicken. Just because it was cold, it's in the fridge overnight, right? Get some heat back on the chicken. And what do we do? Of course, let's get that salami activated. Let's do our thing with it. We might as well get these fats coming up in the game, get a little crisp on them, you know? Just basically eating things up here, except for the pineapple. The pineapple needs a little love. For the bread, I probably should have some oil, olive oil, but this is, this is a leftovers in the fridge series. It's like, I got time for an olive oil. Let's just make a dirty, delicious treat while we have what we have. So take the bread, bang in right here on top rack. That's without direct contact. That'll actually crisp up nice. And I don't want it to go too crazy off, off hop. Come underneath, grab a pair of those tongue to tongue tongue tongs. 
I let me see you. Oh, ooh. I like it in your mouth too. The best of all, best of all of the tongs, the tongs, tongs, tongs. Really, all I'm trying to do is just, just heat some stuff up. Like, I'm not, you know, we're going to throw these guys together. And she going to be nice. we got a couple other little things that we need to accomplish, but, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. The salami is cooking up a real quick. So, as you can see, this fat's on there activating hard. This pineapple though, you know what, maybe I may sacrifice it to the gods and really get that direct connection because I want it to get a, a char on it. I don't know if we can achieve that without doing that. So, okay. These guys are already getting crusty, dusty, roasty, toasty. It's fine with me. So, we got the big dang shot. Yo, let me live, bro. Let me live. Oh, let me live. All right, well, it's like a uh, it's like a food terrarium. Just living their food life. So they're in there. We're out here. This cheese here is going to be needed last. So we ain't worried about that. And it can get a little melty right now because guess what? All right, well, my other camera just shit the bed. So, uh, or maybe, we're not sure yet. But at least I got this iPhone, so let's get back to it. Okay, those are looking pretty good. I'm going to get the rest of this stuff off of here and kind of in a chill state as we have some things things to do with these so you guys can live there hello come on now cameraman it's not ambidextrous enough to do everything all at once so the chicken's hot enough you can come Definitely got a bit more of a char now, which is fine with me. I don't mind it like that. And you guys know me. This is going to end up end up quite saucy. You know what? These guys look good enough to where, to where I think I need them to be. I feel like you guys are like, where is this guy going with this? What is about to happen here? Well, we'll show you in the next shot. All right. Welcome back, y'all. Kind of smoky in the face really hot grill also suntan cool summertime come downtown come down here not here here keep your eyes peeled this ladies and gents is what's about to happen next in this episode okay bread warrior you go out there you do your thing all right we back honey i'm home so those can stay whole i'm into that what I'd rather see happen here is these mangoes get mangoes, I say, pineapples get dealt with, you know what I mean? Sorry, the camera's gonna shake a bit because I'm moving the table, but you know what? I'm just learning in this YouTube life. Rugged and raw, man. Isn't that why YouTube is called YouTube? It's just like anything that's very like unfiltered in a sense, un like kind of unpolished. That's what I'm into now. Or at least I have to be to adapt with the times. Also, how are you guys doing? My life is completely different and I will give you some updates. Absolutely, I will quite excited to in a sense but also you know just unsure of things but kind of sure of things but pretty unsure of things what I will promise is I'm going to try to be getting as much content out here as I can in the situation that I've been put in so all right I also want to do the same for the chicken kind of chalk it down so these kind of more even manageable kind of bunchable segments you know I think you guys see 
where I'm going with this. At least I hope you do. So bing bang boom. Put you in your tomb. It's just what I do. We're on that quick prep. I don't know why I'm like rushing this video. I'm not rushing it. I'm just, I'm trying to show you, basically what I'm trying to show you is you can reach in the fridge, conceptualize an idea that could be tasty, delicious, amazing, delicious treats. Another snack. And you can snack along the way. You feel free. Just don't ruin your appetite along the way. You know what I'm saying? Chicken's lightly dry, but hey. It's that repurposed two day old. I'm gonna get hit with that sauce. Chicken. So. Okay. Bottom bun, boy. What are, what are we doing here? First, we're gonna get it less close to the edge. Okay. Indentation is the name of the game. Don't have to remove anything, but, well, maybe that guy. But make yourself a boat. Make yourself a boat for the things that are going in your throat. First up, creamy chipotle sauce this shit banger buddy so what do we do that for well this is why adhesive chicken adhesive not you pineapple yet you know what we might we could do a chicken pineapple blend you know what let's do that let's just blend the chicken and the pineapple and get them all in there at the same time that makes a lot of sense see we come across accidents this is a happy accident i just came across right and we're in there with our hands you know i just washed my hands my sister has a dog i was petting the dog and i said if i'm gonna make some food i better get this stanky dog off my hands you know what i mean so we got the chicken the pineapple tell me that isn't looking banger already it's it's gorgeous in the words of J jamie what's his name jamie oliver so i guess in my mind the idea was since i didn't have bacon which would have been good you know like with with pineapple like a hawaiian pizza or something you get like a like here are these two crunchy you get like a source of like salty sweet salty the chicken's just chicken so you got the sweet, salty, and then this is where we come, we go deeper. We got the two cheese blend going on. We're going to do it double. You're going to make it crazy town. Like that. Just like this. Ah, fuck it. Let's go right with that. Okay. So we're basically where we need to be, except for that we need to melt this now which is from here, ladies and gents, it's an easy, easy task. All right, sir, I need you, or madam, maybe I'll call you. I need you, madam, to come through one time. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna sit on the top and get that residual heat case a close. But oh, we could still watch you do your thing. I love to watch you do your thing. Uh oh, it looks like the cheese balance is off. It's gonna get real melty down the one side. But that's a food terrarium. You know what I'm saying? All right. Oh shit. Oh, hello, you beautiful monstrosity. I love you so much. How's the bottom looking? How's your bum? Got a burnt bomb? They hope not. Guys, come on. Play around your own beat around. You wanna make jokes on me? You want to you want to on me? Oh, no. Yeah, just one more drip. Thank you. 
All right, y'all, this is really where we're at right now. It's truly a moment of beauty. It's a chef it up from the fridge leftover thing, but I mean, tell me that don't look brand new. You can't argue me on that. Let's get to this though. Let's really get to this. All right, well, while we're here, I'm in a great debate. So I had the lid, that's all good. That's not the debate. I almost feel like lettuce is kind of going to ruin it. But I'm going to do it anyways. Because I do like lettuce. I think we should get our greens. Okay, so the lettuce sticks to the cheese. And then we do this. And I know you guys are going to trip out. Like, what the... F Why are you... How are you going to not put any sauce on it? You wait. On a sandwich like this, I'm going on a per bite basis. What I mean to say is we are going to be drizzling, drizzling, dumping on each and every bite. So what we do then is it's a pool of BBQ and these are going to be applications as we go. Once again, the Chipotle and the medium peri peri nandos join me up top though okay what if i do this if i if i do this this should work i get low okay there you are the homemade pineapple chicken salami two kinds of cheeses lettuce french baguette First one's first.